In this video, we'll be going over how to draw manual ceiling planes to customize the ceiling for our design. We'll be going over how to use the custom ceiling plane tool to create a vaulted ceiling along with making a kind of tray ceiling. To start, the flat ceiling needs to be removed from the room in our design. Custom ceilings won't display if the automatically generated flat ceiling platform is lower than the height of the ceiling planes. To do this, select the room and click Open Object. On the Structure panel, uncheck Flat Ceiling over this room. This will remove the flat ceiling platform over the room and will allow any custom ceiling planes we draw to show up. We're going to build a vaulted ceiling that is at a different pitch from our roof planes. Our roof planes are currently at an 8 and 12 pitch, and we want our ceiling planes to be at a 4 and 12 pitch. In order to draw our ceiling planes at the correct pitch, we can either change our default roof pitch before we draw the ceiling planes, or change the pitch after the ceiling planes are drawn in. For this first example, let's change our default roof pitch. Be aware that changing the default roof pitch while we have auto rebuild roofs turned on will cause our roofs to rebuild at the new pitch. It's recommended that we have our roof completely built first before changing our default pitch and drawing our custom ceiling planes in. Changing the default roof pitch is done through the build roofs dialog. To get there, let's go to the build menu, roof, and click Build Roof. In the window that comes up, let's first uncheck Auto Rebuild Roofs. This will make it so Home Designer stops rebuilding our roof every time we make a change to our plan. Now, we can change the default pitch and our existing roof planes shouldn't change. Let's change the default pitch to 4 and 12 and click OK. Manual ceiling planes are drawn in a very similar way to roof planes. Let's go back to Build, Roof, click Ceiling Plane. We want to move our mouse over the inside edge of the wall that will be at the lower side of the ceiling or the eaves side of the roof overhead until we see the red snap indicator. Once we see that, let's click and drag to draw the baseline or the edge where our ceiling plane is going to rest on the wall. Once we've drawn the baseline, let's release our mouse and move it in the upslope direction. Click again to place the ceiling plane in our plan. Let's repeat this process on the opposite wall. Again, we'll move our mouse until we see the snap indicator, click and drag to draw the baseline of our ceiling plane, then Let's release the mouse and move it in an upslope direction and click again to place our ceiling plane. To join our ceiling planes together, let's use the same tool we use for joining roof planes, the Join Roof Planes tool. First, select the ceiling plane, making sure to click on one of the edges. We can tell what we've selected by looking at the bottom left corner of our program. If we didn't grab the ceiling plane the first time, we can press tab on our keyboard or press select next object on the edit toolbar. Then we want to select the edge we'll be joining the ceiling planes at, signified by the edit handle on the edge that is a different color. Click the join roof planes tool in the edit toolbar and then click on the edge we want to join together. Home Designer will then take care of the geometry and perfectly join the ceiling planes together. With the ceiling planes joined together, let's drag the other edges of the ceiling planes to the gable walls to cover the entire room, being careful to snap the sides of the ceiling plane to the inside edges of the walls of the room. If we go outside, it will prevent the walls from going up past the ceiling to meet the roof correctly. We can view our results by taking a cross-section camera view. Go to the 3D menu, create orthographic view, and cross-section elevation, and click and drag 
to make the camera. For this next ceiling design, we'll turn off the roof planes layer in our plan display. This will make it so we won't accidentally select a roof plane when we're trying to modify a ceiling plane. To do this, let's go to the Tools menu and click on Display option. Let's then scroll down to the R's and find the layer called Roof Planes. Let's remove the check mark from the Display column and click OK. Now that we have the roof planes turned off, we can grab each of the ceiling planes and adjust them without having to worry about accidentally grabbing the roof planes. Let's select each ceiling plane and set their interior edge to be 3 feet from the outside edge of the wall using the temporary dimensions, which we can toggle on or off by going to the view menu. Let's then hold down the Shift key on each ceiling plane to group select them. Let's open them both for specification. On the general panel, there are several options of values that can be locked. Whichever value we set to be locked is the value that won't change when we make changes to the other values. We can think of it as setting the pivot point for the ceiling plane as it changes pitch. In this case, we want to keep the height inside wall locked to 109 and an eighth inches. This value is referring to the height of the ceiling plane at the top of the inside edge of our framing layer. By locking this value, when we change the pitch value to 0 instead of 4 and press the Tab key on our keyboard, the inside bottom height value will stay the same and the other values will adjust to having a pitch of 0. Once we've changed these values, let's go ahead and click OK. Now, let's draw in two new ceiling planes at the default pitch of 4 and 12. Let's do this by selecting our ceiling plane tool and snapping our mouse to the edge of one of the ceiling planes already drawn in our plan. Once we see that snap indicator, let's click and drag to draw the baseline of the ceiling plane. Release our mouse and move in the upslope direction and click to place the ceiling plane. Let's then repeat this process on the other side of the room. Let's then select the inside edge of our ceiling plane, click on the Join Roof Planes button, and click on the edge of the opposite ceiling plane to join them together. Let's then drag the edges of the ceiling planes out to complete the ceiling. Once more, we can go into our Elevation Camera View to see our results. Using tools like the Custom Ceiling Plane tool, we can create several different kinds of custom ceiling shapes. This concludes our video going over custom ceilings in Home Designer Pro.